What's up YouTube, it's Louis here. Hope you're all well. Today we're looking at Bitcoin on the daily time frame and we're still waiting on the reaction from this 618. You can see we've now respected it as support. So if we want to see the fibs do what they should, what we should actually expect from now is to actually go up, break above the EMAs, back and test them as support. That's the first step guys. You can see even without drawing anything, we have this ascending support and then we have this horizontal resistance. That right there in itself could be seen as some sort of, you know, ascending triangle over here, coiling up. Of course, a 66% chance of breaking up. How do we do that? Get above, backtest those EMAs. You can see we've just formed a newly formed bearish cross on the daily time frame, a sell signal. So we know, obviously, even though we've come up impulsively, we're correcting down to the 618, can come as low as the 786 before reclaiming the 618, and then continuing your trend you were in. Because we went in this uptrend, we had this impulsive move, and then we had this corrective move. As long as it's you know staying above the 618 or having a quick wick down to the 786, and then it must reclaim the 618, then we can continue. Otherwise, if we go below the 618 and fail to get back above, we create that reverse wave back down to the one. If you remember from yesterday, uh, I, I, oh, oh, obviously over a week I told you how this was looking exactly like this and yesterday we just basically reiterated the point how we're still waiting for this you know sort of capitulation candle that could come all the way back down to, into this green zone because obviously once you lose a level you go to the next level so if we're at this level and we have a quick wick down where to the next level down there so that's why yesterday I told you it will be in and around this area that will get this wick if that were if that scenario were to happen when we come to the 786 but then reclaim the 618 and yeah go ahead back up to the 48 uh, 48.1k high and break above that and yeah we can long but again literally since up here been telling you guys we're getting too vertical i'm expecting a breakdown uh a, yeah a push back down because everyone was getting too excited the fear and greed index was in greed for the first time since uh, December since up here in November December when we got up here that was the first time it was in greed over here when we we're in this resistance point over here every time it was in neutral the fear and greed index and every time it went down back into extreme fear so I knew that this was a perfect sell signal so this is why I took some profits on some alts and this was in the group chat so if you're interested in the group chat or just learning wait until the end of this video where I can go through a bit in a bit more detail how you can get started but also don't forget to like this video subscribe and comment as the algorithm is always working against us guys let's get to 50 likes on this video yeah let's continue so of course we know for creating that reversal wave to the one and we're losing it I've given you my personal tech targets from 30 to 31k that is what it's gonna be for me of course anywhere from 30 to 31k is going to be my personal bottom we don't have to go down there whatsoever if you're not going below the one you've created the reverse wave to the one minimal it doesn't have to go below you can actually come back up to the 618 flip it into support and we would continue back up you can see that would be a huge sort of double bottom right there that is if we do create this reverse wave back down to the one but actually just fail to break below and we just eventually reverse long process gonna take time guys but just another another scenario that can play out don't forget we're still in this rising wedge and this head and shoulders tech target but I've given you my reasonings why I don't think this 1618 and this head and shoulders target will be met in yeah the last few videos the only one personally I'm watching is the 1.272 targets you know these two main ones especially this one uh, because you know once we actually held it back in July last year and we reclaimed the 1414 and back tested its support right there, that is what sent us back to the 1618. So us getting above the 1618 was a very bullish statement and our next target was 120k. However, you can see we lost it, confirmed it as resistance and then when we got down to the 1414 right there, we didn't get the bounce we wanted back above this neckline to go up. We just respected it as resistance and tank and since you're below this green box over here which is the 1414 42k as long as you're below 42k then technically we can't really be you know super excited thinking we're going to go up because you're basically below the midpoint of this large range this being your support this being your resistance 
the midpoint being the 1414, literally over here. So as long as we're below this, which we are currently right now, there's no point of us getting excited. One thing that we can potentially get excited or not even excited about, just like, yeah, <laughs> I don't even know what to say, but yeah, as long as you're holding this yellow box, chances are we're, you know, coiling up in here, trying to break above that 1414 again, 42k. Once we can close above that and back test 42k support, which, you know, you would be above the EMAs as well, then this is when we can start to get a bit exciting, uh, excited again, guys. But for the moment, what I'm watching out for, as I've said already, is a, you know, a big wick down like this, like a, yeah, a, a capitulation wick, just to like scare some people, come back down into this zone, the 786 must reclaim the 618 and stay within this uh, channel thank you guys for watching please like subscribe and comment as the algorithm is working against us and yeah let's get this video to 50 likes thank you if you're interested in the crypto packages here it is right now and i'll catch you in the next one peace so guys here are the crypto packages if you think you have what it takes to stay disciplined and consistent over the next three to six months then i'm more than happy to help you 10x your learning curve so you can already be a complete beginner or you can be advanced, it doesn't matter. I'm here to turn you into a self-sufficient trader that doesn't need anyone else's guidance by the end of it. I even had to pay over 10,000 pounds to get all this information. That includes scams, scam signals where I lost 3K, scam master account management where I lost 5K, scam pyramid scheme companies for bad courses. Then I found my mentor and I had to pay over $2,000 for just a two hour mentorship lesson. What you guys are getting for 650 pounds is access to the chat until the top of the market. So if the top of the market is a year away, do one year times 40. So you're definitely getting your money's worth. You also get the course included in the mentorship. And I'll actually not just do a two hour lesson with you. I will stay here for a month period to make sure that you become a self-sufficient trader by the end of it. So if you're interested in this, head over to my Twitter, Louis underscore crypto to the pinned post and message me there. Thank you guys. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.